after they kind of healed up. I feel really, really good. What's your, I mean, you, if we were following you on social media, you were up the next day and moving around, so are you? That was, I mean, that's the biggest thing that they want you to do. Um, I tried walking like an hour or two after I woke up. Um, they didn't go so hot, I got sick. <laughs> And like two hours after that, I tried to walk again, got sick, and then walked right after that. I just say that if you stay in bed, uh, I had surgery on Wednesday, so if you stay in bed till Thursday, there's a greater chance of it like taking forever to oh. heal up. So I made sure I could get up and walk as soon as possible. Do you feel better than you thought you would? Yeah, I feel really, really good. Um, I have no more like lower back pain. I just feel feel pretty darn healthy right now. How much weight did you lose? Uh, which time? The flare-up before, like, three weeks before Christmas, I lost 20 pounds in, like, two weeks. Um, and then I had surgery on Wednesday the 25th. On Tuesday, I weighed 207. And then I woke up Wednesday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I weighed 186. Good grief. Yeah. Was it, was now it? I weigh what ninety seven. <laughs> Put so it back on. Slow <laughs> <laughs> was there any? What was the reason why you finally decided to get the surgery? Was it just getting to be unbearable? It was just there was. We can. I tried like the three most potent drugs that they make for ulcerative colitis and like Crohn's disease. I've tried the best biologic medicines that they make. I tried everything and just none of it really seemed to work. So uh, we talked to a surgeon in Dallas, we talked to a surgeon at Mayo, and we felt like they were like, I talked to my GI doctor in Nebraska, and all three of them were like, we recommend that you have this done because it's not going to get any better. And so we went with Mayo and they did it from there. So, uh, as you probably, or we keep being told All Star Break. Are you? Do you think that's realistic that you can be pitching by the All Star Break? Yeah. What gives you reason for that optimism? Because whatever the doctors tell me, I'll probably push it a little bit. Yeah. Have you thrown anything? Or? I have not. Yeah. What are you? What are you allowed to, to throw? I mean, I'd rather have all these sur- if all these surgeries done before I start throwing. I can't lift anything over five pounds for another three weeks. So you got one in April and then another one in June. Yeah, or there might just be one in April. It just depends on what the doctors say. Okay. I have to talk with them. I have to wait for like pathology reports and uh, like my blood work and stuff like that to come back. So what do you think fans really need to know about your situation? What was the, what's the most important message you, you can give out of this whole thing? Uh, I feel like that. For the most part, it's invisible to people. People don't really know that's there. Um, it's not like a disease that you see on the outside of people. It's one that happens uh, underneath clothing and inside. Um, say any form of like IBD or Crohn's and colitis, um, it, uh, it can ruin your life at points. For me, I mean, we were on the GI floor of the Mayo Clinic, and there was probably 15 other people that had the surgery, uh, and I was in the best shape. Like, where I was 30, I'm pretty athletic. There were people that were that took their toll on their body, and uh, that's really, really tough to see.